today we've got another set which you can't really fall out with this time it's the Rotel RVC 230 well I mean it's 30 years old so it's uh, slightly scratched it's got its factory mic it hasn't got a power lead though it did come with the remains of one so we'll be providing a new one for that so we'll open it up and see what's inside has come with a job ticket and the ticket says working but needs a service so that's what we'll do so we'll start by checking the VCO and test point one is the far end of resistor four and we select channel what? channel 40 so the far side of resistor 4 I'll just zoom in so you can see where that is that resistor there and the furthest most point so you get my fingers out of the way I'm going to put on that resistor so I'm looking for on transmit on channel 40 I'm looking for 4 volts and I have got 5 volts so I'll just trim that and it's for transmit it's the variable capacitor just there so just pop that down to 4 volts I'll zoom out so you can see the meter now as well just to slide it all along So I'm in transmit and you can see that's 3.97 volts. And then on trans on channel one we should have got one point something volt in transmit. So I'm back in. Just let this stabilize. Should be one to one point eight. Two point three stabilizing at. I'll just go back to forty, see what we're at now. Just let that settle. Yeah, well it's about four volts. So we'll leave it at that and then we'll just see how that uh, performs on receive. So in receive, we should have, on channel 40, which is where we are, we should have round about 4 volts, which is 4.17. I'll just drop that a fraction, and the VCO coil is the one there. Now I'm using a metal tool, so it's affecting the reading. So it's adjusting weight. Just overshot that a fraction. You don't have to panic if these aren't quite exact. It, it, the proof is to prove it's in lock. Well, it's four volts here. Shot will do nicely. Let's go on channel one, and hopefully it's around about 1.9 volts. Well, it's 2.3. So we'll go back to transmit and just check that once again. Channel 40. Yeah, it's stabilizing around about four. And on channel one, it's supposed to be 1.8 ish, and it seems to stabilize about 2.2 on this set. Yep, that's fine. That's not going anywhere. So that's the VCO. So it was slightly 
needing a look at on that. There's nothing worse than getting in a cold car and the radio's not transmitting on channel 40 or something because that's been overlooked. Because they're very temperature, temperamental. Okay, um, so we go over to the first transmit coil, which is transformer 2. I can just zoom back in again. Transformer 2, we're in transmit, let's see what we're doing. Uh, it's doing 3.5 watts. Over to the second one, which is transformer. It also says two. I don't know. Somebody's lying. Here we go. Here was the transformer seven. On to transformer four. And then we move on to coil 4, for which I want my green plastic trimming tool. Which happens to be lurking under the solder sucker. That's brought it up to four point. 3 watts and then we do need to do L8 which is fair enough and an L9 which is what we set the power with which I now have dropped it to 4 ok so, having tuned the transmitter up, we need to make sure the S meter or the RF meter then reads 4 watts when I press transmit. Swing straight over to 5. So, the transmit meter is RV4. That now reads four, and we check low power in this radio. The low power switch is at the back, that should be 0.4. It's actually nothing. I'll just clean that control with our service all switch cleaner because these can play up, and that's 0.4. Switch back to normal power, check the deviation. The oscillator out. I'll just switch the camera on so you can see this. Move the light away. Oh, it's well over the top. Press something there. Okay, the deviation using the test oscillator is just over two. I'll just bring that up to two and a half with RV2. And then we'll do the whistle test. That's the oscillator on the floor. Just 
Just marginally high now. <whistles> Wallow. Better. I'm going to listen on the monitor receiver. Testing one, two, three, four, five. Very nice, an original mic. So that's done the deviation. So we'll just set the radio on frequency, make sure that's right. Should be 27 decimal 79125 on channel 20, 79127. Absolutely spot on. If we needed to adjust that, it's the red trimmer right next to the crystal just there. That one there. Okay. And that concludes the transmitter on the Rotel RVC220.